it hasn't fully hit me yet that, you know, I'm the, right now the third best bodybuilder in the world. And I'm waiting for that knockout punch. And in a way, I'm glad it hasn't hit me because it keeps me grounded. Um, because my focus is trying to be better than I was last year. And with the success that I had last year, the bar is set very high for me. Yeah. It's one of these guys who broke the legs. I don't need to. So I need to just warm up. <laughs> Winter School Gym, the Mecca, with uh, none other than Mr. Charles Glass himself. Overall, it's been a great day. Uh, I'm happy with the progress that I'm making. You know, I sent some pictures to Chris yesterday. You know, I practice what he sees. And it's off season, so no fuss, no must. Just gotta keep doing what I'm doing. September is right around the corner. Gotta stay in the grind and uh, keep focus. Down low, maybe come back to you. There you go, right about there. Perfect. Bring it way back. Now bring it up easy. There you go. Bring it back a little deeper. Try to get it come back as deep as you can. Come on, bring it back deep, deep, deep. There you go. There you go. Don't, don't hold your head back. Pull it up loose so you can see what you're doing. There you go. Good. That's it. Bring it down in there. 
basket. <laughs> Thing is, these are uh, exercises that I've, I don't have these machines in my gym, so it's like I hit the muscle from a different angle, which hurts. <laughs> I love it, man. He's, I mean, he's, he's so open-minded, so that's the good thing. He's open-minded, he's willing to try a lot of things, so it's good. What's your main focus with him? What are you doing here? I'm trying to get a feel for Sean. It's, it's sort of hard when you're trying to get a feel for someone. I, it's my first time working with him, and I mean, he's so open-minded, he wants to try different things, so as long as I can get that feel back, great, we'll, we'll make it happen. Good 
turn it. Move it back, move it back. There you go. Then knee underneath, there you go. Oh, leg all the way underneath. Turn the hips, now come up and squeeze. There you go, good. Push it from your heel. Push it from the heel. That leg, that simple, you really, really hurt that much. <laughs> Coming down here, I knew it was going to be, hey, let's squat 500 pounds. <laughs> so how can we get that muscle to fire from a different angle? Sorry, I'm calling Mr. Glass. <laughs> Yeah, but we take it with a different angle. Like 
death right now, folks. Two hundred and sixty-five pounds, two sixty-eight. Our first true off-season. It's been a pleasure working with Mr. Charles Glass, aka Dr. Torture. <laughs> <laughs> Underneath. Kick it way underneath. There you go. There you go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Now push. There you go. Come on. Bring it down. There you go. Come on. Work it now. Come on. Work it. That's it. Work it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't give up. Don't give up. Come on. There you go. Come on. Come on. Now push. 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 Again. One more. One more. Up. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go, now kick this underneath. Underneath, underneath. Now turn it, turn it back in. Right there, perfect. Let that, let that knee go up. Keep it up in the air, here. Keep it up, there you go, good. Perfect. Come on, come on. Right there, that's it. Stay on it, stay on it, good, that's it. Come on, stay on it. Push, 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 come on, come on. Bring it down, yeah. Up, there you go, come on, come on. Again, again, don't quit, don't quit, come on. I drive. Again, again. Come on. I need two. Just two. Come on. Up. Come on. Bring it down. Bring it down. Now drive it up, 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 up. Lock it out. That's it. That was great. That was great. Okay. All right. <laughs> Oh yeah. I find my motivation every day, man. Look up. <laughs> I've been here. When that door opened, I was the first one to walk through. Oh, <laughs> I was the first one to come through that door. Really? Yep. I started training people back in '81 on a part time because I had a job. I worked every day. Then I, um, in '87, I uh, sort of volunteered for a layoff, and I started, you know, training people full time. And I loved it. Torture. Actually, what we're trying to do is just finish, just polishing stuff up on his legs because he has great legs. But I would like to see a little bit more sweep on his on the, on the quad, you know. So when he stand when he stand there, you guys can just see his legs. But boom, just jump out at you, you know. You know, people always find negative stuff to say about this, about that, yeah. especially when you're up and coming. So we want to shut off critics. That way, you ain't got to worry about anything. Right here first, folks. <laughs> Hang 
gonna lie, this shit hurt, folks. Stay here. I gotta go. This is what you call being part of Pop Chef. Doesn't get any better than this. All the beef you can get. See that? <laughs> Three days worth of food, folks. You gotta eat to grow. Supplements courtesy of Ron Coleman Signature Series. Today I am doing some Stacker NO and Compressor Den Extra. To my right, you have Mr. Chris Kinnear. Tell folks that I'm gonna get hurt today because Chris is here, Charles is here. Uh, I can just see the pain right now. I first critiqued his body and he was in the Olympia a couple years ago. Oh, yeah. What did you think? I thought, I thought he was. Yeah, you know, I was standing trying to put some good muscle on that frame and just that thing needed time, but I thought, thought he could be, he felt he definitely had a good future though, for sure. It's time for chess. <laughs> it's time. So, it's upper detail, right? Mm -hmm. So, what do you guys do? What do you guys do? Well, we just started. So, actually, what I'm going to do is get on the machine and start with some dump uh, barbell work. And then from there, we can just branch out and do other things. Just to fill it all out. Maybe barbell? do a um, okay, barbell. barbell. Yeah. Fifth machine, barbell. Fifth machine. And then okay. what we do, go to some kind of fly movement, dumbbell fly, so we keep the pressure around to the top. Ready? Let's go start through. Don't try this at home, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Need a doctor supervision.
one lock back. Right about here. Don't lock. And I thought that you know he could be good, but he needed uh, needed time, needed uh, uh, knowledge, more knowledge in the game. And I think uh, it just says a lot for him to come out here and, and be humbled and like, okay, I want some direction. I want uh, I want a good you know some guys behind me that they, they know they've been there, they've done it. Ain't like uh, someone just in the gym saying they did it. Like it's in the history of the, the sport. So. And then when I seen him compete last year, he took third. I was encouraged by the way that he can do. Like I thought he still needed more depth part of his physique. That's gonna make him top. I think uh, you know it's a great step in the right direction for him to maybe get that title one day now. So we'll see. That's what I thought. Big chest, baby. Big chest. Stop, relax, then push. Here we go. Here we go. Lay down, let's sit. Boop, go. There you go. Again. Sit. Up. Boop. Come on, come on. One more, one more. Up. 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 Push, 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 push. push. Push, there you go. Put another can. Hit it, sit, then push. Let's go. Here we go, baby. Now. Again, same thing. Let it sit there for me. Now. Go again. Go again. Now. 
Push, push, push. Come on. Come on, dig. Dig. He won't move, yeah, all the way down. <laughs> that hurts. 
Jump. Have a seat. Right here. Now lift it up in the air like this. There you go. Now hold this right there. Now press it back toward me. Press it back toward me. Go down. Keep it tight. Press it back. Come on. Press it to my hand. Press. Do it in here. Come on. Press. There you go. Fire it off. Come on. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Press. Come on. Press. Press. One more. Press. Good. Let me come get a light. Wait. What's up, Ivan Hamster? Watch. Yeah. Here. Here. All this is it. Move in the pack. I mean, could you feel it? Okay, good. Good. I'll try 25 next weeks. <laughs> That's all you want. Yep. Good. 
drop it right here. Can I come up? There you go. Come on, come on. Two, give me two. Give me one. Come on, come on, on. That's it, man. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job.
side, you gotta get a test, man. Come on, I need, I need a stretch in the back. Get a stretch in the back. Stretch. Write it down. Stretch. Come on, power that shit up, man. Come on, power it up. Come on. Now. Light, it's light squeeze, man. gentlemen for coming out um, we're gonna head, head over to McDonald's uh, we're gonna have uh, a couple quarter pounder uh, I'm gonna go for a Big Mac <laughs> 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 trying to supersize myself for the Olympia I'll be on stage about 300 pounds why get one when you have two exactly you hear that <laughs> uh, I'm gonna walk for a couple of minutes my body is still in my legs, it told me don't, but. <laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good day. This is Sean Flexion from the road. Standing outside, full massage, but none other than Jeff. He's the mastermind behind a lot of uh, pros opening up their fascia and growing and getting ready for competition. And this is Mr. Jeff Metcalf. That's right. And uh, we do work. We do work, son. <laughs> right next to Gold's Venice. Working on all the big dogs. So when you get a chance, folks, come on down and uh, get some work done. It's torture. It hurts. But it works. Peace. Thanks, buddy. Cheers. All right, son. Oh, almost as wide as Ronnie's back on the back. Right. <laughs> I need to make it life size. All right. This is Ronnie Coleman, <laughs> aka Sean Flexer, Sean Roden. I'm standing here at uh, Pro Massage, where Mr. Uh, uh, Jeff, or he will be, uh, <laughs> where Jeff will be uh, going to be doing some upper body, I think. He already killed me in my legs the other day where I couldn't walk after it was finished, so. But we have Pro Massage uh, right across, right next to Ghost Gym. And we're gonna do some active release uh, massage, and hopefully if you guys see me crying, it's not because it hurts, because I'm enjoying it. No, it's because it hurt, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> The bigger they are, the louder they cry. you screaming. <laughs> Get this man off of me! <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah, so, so my goal right now, I'm trying to open up his pec minor and I'm going to get pec major more subclavis. So I'm just trying to open up his pec. He just did chest. Um, I just want to open this up, get the range of motion open. Um, then I'm going to go into like sub scap. The goal here is to bring these shoulders back and really to be able to display his pecs and chest and stuff when he's on stage. And then I'm going to flip him over and get into his lats. Um, open those babies up and just help them grow. This shit hurt, folks. <laughs> I've like one teardrop that's been hanging on not to come out. <laughs> Uh, 
um, I specialize, I do active release techniques. That's like my, my main thing. And then I do also uh, like deep tissue. I kind of integrate them both together. Work on a lot of bodybuilders. Lay on this side here. He wishes. Wish. This is the money move right here. <laughs> what are we doing here? Swing so right, arm. yeah, so here we go. So I'm gonna have him bring his arm overhead here. And my goal here is to lengthen all here. So the goal, we're gonna open up lat and then I'm gonna get in the sub scap. Um, and all, everything I'm doing right now is opening all the anterior stuff here to bring these shoulders back. Um, so he can really open up his lats and uh, Really get that chest opened up and flexed. Good. Really bring this one. There you go. Perfect. Great. Yes, yeah, so right now I'm in his lat and then sub scap. And then elbow up. Yeah, just like that. Great. This is Terry's minor. And also. Terry's minor and tricep insertion right here. Good, and then we're gonna external rotate. And then bring this over here, just like that. Once he comes back to before the Olympia, before like when he's really close to show, then we'll work on, you know, getting those striations deeper and opening up everything. Perfect. There you go. Good Lord. This is my workout for the day. <laughs> this is where I go home and sleep afterwards. Exactly. <laughs> no, I get seven. I get to do seven more of these. <laughs> Let's go over here. So now I'm gonna open up his low back, get let him do his QL, lat, lower lat insertion. Good, let's go back face up. Oh, man. <laughs> so pretty much we're gonna do all the same stuff, but now we're gonna hit up his right side. <laughs> Joy for song. Um, it's a little bit tighter, so I'm gonna throw a little elbow in it. He don't show it. It hurts. <laughs> <laughs> he holds it all in. Listen, I'm not even gonna lie to you guys about this, <laughs> but I go home and I cry afterwards. <laughs> Let's go on your left side now. <laughs> I'm not helping you. <laughs> You're like a fish out of water right there. <laughs> oh, man. Breathe, breathe. Push this back. Good. There you go. Perfect. Good. I'm going to spend your elbow up. Let's go face down.
This is active release right here. So you shorten origin insertion together, and then you have the patient actively flex the opposing muscle. Yeah. You see that, folks? Trying to build me a back like Ronnie. All right, folks. It was a pleasure to have you guys walking with me today. See what I do when I'm out here. This is my, pretty much this is my life. <laughs> Torture, whether I'm training or massage. Hope you guys continue to walk with me. Well, I'm gonna go home and take a nap. I don't know what y'all gonna do, but y'all don't have to leave, but y'all can't stay here. Peace. See y'all tomorrow. That's why they make Velcro. <laughs> People just slip in or slip out, but. Morning, folks. This is Sean. Day three at Venice Goals. Um, today is, if I'm not mistaken, Sean. It's going to be a great day. I'm looking forward to building a back similar to Ronnie Coleman. So, Wait, shoulders or back? Didn't you just say shoulders? Sorry, it's back. Yeah. I guess we have to see later, folks. <laughs> I am tired. How'd your dinner go with the Flex last night? Dinner was awesome with Mr. Flex Wheeler. And I had one question to ask him, which I've been dying to ask him. And I asked him if there was anything that he could have done differently. What he have? And he said yes. He would have enjoyed the journey. <laughs> so that's my goal. I'm going to enjoy this journey. Wherever my final destination may be. Say some shit. Who's <laughs> <laughs> on, baby? Kicking it here. It's all generation. We're, we're bringing it back to where people actually cared about one another. And uh, me and Sean, welcome back to the stage. On 13. Good luck, baby boy. Yes, sir. I'm gonna be watching them with proud success. It's a Redskins fan. Cowboy fan. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> we are back. We warm it back a little bit. We can start. We ready to roll.
folks from the real deal <laughs> saying an imitator real deal Trying to thicken those lats up a little bit more and try to push it all the way down to his waist if possible. And let it hang for the Lord himself. He's doing good. He's on top of the game. Something's working. It's that Jesus juice. <laughs> yeah, not like this, though. <laughs> Hold it, hold it, at the bottom. There you go. Before, before. Push through the lap, that's it. Push through the lap, come on. That's it, put him in the front. There you go, come on. Come on. Two, two. One, one. Our rows are back.
and we'll work our way up. Keep your chest up. Keep your chest up. Stretch in there. There you go. And squeeze up here. Bring it up. A little bit harder on the way up. Put that back. Bring those knees a little bit more. Stay in the foot. There you go. Right there. Stretch it in the back. There you go. Feel that? How much more you on? 35s or 25s? Yeah, it's 25. It's kind of light. Is it? That's right. <laughs> I sent a text to my mom. The real deal just kicked my ass. <laughs> I think the way you do the next one is like you learn, you like lean in back like this, but you sit into it, chest out. It pulls into your lap, it yeah. pulls into the whole section of the lap. You gotta like, cause you're starting to like your body, your body length is starting to get like this. You gotta. You, you don't want to round. You don't want to round the back. Space. to keep your chest out. Boom. Hands like probably a little tighter. And here and then pull it in through. But you gotta keep your chest up. You can't. Uh, you know You come down. Touch the rear, but you gotta like keep your keep. And you can use your legs a little bit if you want. But just make sure you're getting a good contraction in that back. Back. Get back. Good. That contraction. Good. Bring it back. Squeeze it back. Squeeze it back. Hold it. There you go. Hold it. Get to the back. Hold it. There you go. Stand up, wait. No problem. Yeah. Come on. Sit back on a little bit, and as you pull, bring your body into it a little bit, and then bring it back. Bring your body into it. That's it. Sit back. Sit back. Now bring it into it. That's it. Come on. Bring it into it as you pull it up. Good. Meet it. Meet it. Come on. Back. Come on. Meet it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Meet it. Come on. Come on. That's it. Come on. Come on. I see it now. <laughs> I don't see the light. <laughs> Like 
That shit hurts. <laughs> This machine is falling over. <laughs> now I'm waiting for uh, the key. I'm going to try to snap a couple of uh, pictures. So I've sent to uh, the technician, Mr. Chris Isido. Um, so I can, uh, progress report. Because but everyone that's ever torn would torn regular. We're not really on the upper, you'd be on the flat. We're on the flat. We do on incline? Uh, yeah, incline. Oh, incline. Oh, yeah, we can do it. That's, and, that's then, uh, and then go to like some way to really get some contraction to the top. Good contraction. Mm. Let's slide. Fuck shots. That'd be good. So, yeah, you know, I, that's good. You're good eye now. So, we're seeing what we need to develop. Yeah. 
actually working on a couple of poses when we get a chance pretty soon. Like which one's Chris? It's like the front double, rear, last spread, side chest, everything. side <laughs> chest, <laughs> stuff like that. But I, I, I can see about a, a good 15% difference you can make to just the poses. I agree with you in that one. <laughs> so, anyway. Good, man. Did a good job today. Thanks, Paul. Nice to have the best of the best critiquing you. The best of the best. That's why I'm here, man. This is my, today marked my first full month of being back in the gym after taking off two months, so. I'm actually enjoying this. <laughs> this is only month one. And I could see, I could see improvement from last year to this year. And I just gotta stick to what I'm doing and listen to the people that surround me that's pushing me in the right direction. It's only for the greater good. <laughs> That's right. Creature of habit. Stick went, to what works. I went there for breakfast this morning. How was breakfast? Oh, amazing. There's scrambles, egg white scramble with chicken or turkey. Awesome. Chris, can I have egg whites scramble with turkey or chicken? Some oatmeal? <laughs> the man himself, Mr. Uh, Bruce Almighty. Has done a tremendous job with from the Battle of the Olympia to all these great athletes, bringing them to the forefront for their fans to be able to see what they do on a day to day basis in the gym. And we're very thankful. To have them follow us around every day, no privacy. Just kidding. <laughs> it's killing me. What's that? It's my back. <laughs> so freaking tight. What are we doing, Big Sean? We are on our way to a staple here in Venice, which is the firehouse. Uh, every day after training, this is where you can find it. I sit and enjoy wonders that Venice has to offer. <laughs> I don't go to the beach. I sit and I eat. It's reflect up in me getting my ass kicked and, and and just eat and relax. <laughs> it's more like a torture, but you know, I enjoy it. There's a reason why I'm here. That's mm -hmm. the reason why I'm here is to improve up on everything there is for next year. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be a great Olympia with Jay coming back. Someone asked me yesterday if I'm ready for uh, the Jay and Phil show. <laughs> Yo, what do you think about that? What do you think about Jay coming back? Listen, man, if that was the case, they should just tell the rest of us to stay home. <laughs> you think he's going to bring that uh, 08 package that he did back then? We hoping so. Was it 08 or 09? No, 09. 09 when he, package when he, uh, he came out. Took, took like it back a, from De Dexter. Exactly. He came back with a smaller waist. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I don't know. If that was the case, man, they should just tell the rest of us to stay home. Nobody show up. Yeah. It's going to be a rematch between Phil and Jay. Yeah. And Sean. I'm not trying to say I'm the best bodybuilder, but part of my French, fuck that. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> I'm busting my ass here. Not to go and watch. 
you know, Jay and Phil duke it out while everybody gets standing on the sideline. You know, it's going to be a very good Olympia. I mean, everybody's should be bringing the A game. And I know with Jay coming back, Phil is going to be pumped. And of course, if I got to crawl over Jay and Kai to get to Phil, that's how it's going to be. All right. Here we are. Here we are. Let's try to uh it's like you know, I know that you being here is for one reason, one reason only, so I don't have time to hang out and do all that stuff. I just I focus on why I'm here. How are you doing? We're back again. <laughs> I, 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 he almost did it on the way out. I didn't get a knee touch. You did? Oh, I'm going to stick my heels together. You got some good height, huh? <laughs> What's your vertical like? About three inches. Good. <laughs> good. It's a good place to start. And, that, and that's a good day. You can only go up from there. I'm working on it. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you're really bad. <laughs> All right, so what are we ordering here? Come on, let's, let's open the menu and show them what you got. I am going to go with the chicken and waffles. <laughs> Everything is good, man, you know, but again, I'm a creature of, of habit, so, you know, I told myself on day one when I came here, I'm going to go for one thing and one thing only, and if it tastes good, I'm going to stick with it every day that I stop by, and... Came to the conclusion that the Bob Bowl was really good. It's your deal. It's your bag. I've stuck with the Bob Bowl for two and a half weeks. <laughs> what about what about? You're gonna start calling it the Sean Bowl here pretty soon. And pancakes. I don't want to mess you up, man. Yeah, just kind of. And I love pancakes too. So, what time do you guys open in the morning? Eight. Huh. I have to do my second meal here tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Two and a half weeks. Two and a half weeks later, you figure that out. Let's see, nobody told me that I could have steak and pancakes. Steak, pancakes, and eggs. Egg whites. I'm gonna go with the bobble, please. Bobble, go ahead. <laughs> Medium well. Medium well. No peppers, no onions. No peppers, no onions. White rice. See, I'm a creature of habit. <laughs> I'm gonna do the, the trick. <laughs> Lazy ass. Just hold the camera. <laughs> It's just it's good for me to come here and I people watch in the afternoon. <laughs> yeah, totally. Be down on the boardwalk. So you haven't even been on the boardwalk once. Two and a half weeks. Boardwalk's two freaking blocks over and you haven't been there. <laughs> seen all the freaks. You haven't even seen Muscle Beach? Yeah, I might down, do that. Get you in your little skivvies and get you working out. I might try that this week, man, but uh, I just... <laughs> I, only, I think the furthest I've been is to the mall. And an outdoor mall in Santa Monica, I think. I went to GNC to do an autograph signing last week. Um, besides that, I just and I keep everything central and, and I eat, train, and sleep, man. You know, I can't deviate from my plan and, you know, in my head I'm just following the path that I had set for me by myself in October after I got my ass beat by Mr. Dennis Wolf from Prague. Uh, that was my motivation and then after finding out that I'm not a threat, I have those tattoos on the inside of my eyelid. So every time I close my eyes, I can see it. Every time I blink, I see I am not a threat. So that's my motivation for 2013. <laughs> I am so focused right now that I kind of help the freeze over and I'll just walk out and still be in this, in this journey. Yep. It's like you, you don't know how bad 
I don't think anybody understands how bad I really am looking forward to 2013. I think maybe only Chris will see that much because we spend a month in the road in Europe and we've been traveling since Tampa Pro together and he sees and knows, you know, how bad. Let's see if I can find a text. That's from Chris. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, this is the conversation that I have with Chris. <laughs> he takes this very, very serious. And um, I like that about him because I know going into going into any battle. I might not walk out with the biggest gun, <laughs> but I know I got all the cannon blazing right behind me. <laughs> and he's taking this here as serious as I am with our preparation for 2013. And the simple fact that just knowing that he worked with uh, Jay Cutler in the past, and we also chained up the Iron Man. You know, saw how he looked when he won the first Olympia. You know, Chris has been working with him for a very long time, and you know, to be able to bring that you know, package out, you know, bring Jay to the forefront, because I know when Jay turned pro, you know, nobody expected him to do what he did. And, uh, you know, if we took that you know, personal and took that one step forward and said, hey, you know what? I'm going to do this just because you tell me that I can't. And to see what he has achieved, you know, in many years, you know, that speaks volumes on its own. So, you know, that's my kind of attitude right now. The can do attitude. I want to do this because also because you told me that I can't. Uh, it's going to be great here, folks. Uh, the person that helped me to get back into turning pro and helping me to get back into sport, uh, someone I actually called my brother, which is uh, you know, Fred Smalls. Fred Biggie Smalls. You know, he's doing it too, and I wish them all the luck and all the best. And hopefully, he can make it back to the second Olympia. Uh, we talked about this ever since we were kids, we were teenagers, about you know, two of us being on the same stage that happened last year. And, you know, I know he's busting his ass right now to be back on stage. And, I know Ed is a little bit pissed because of last year and you know, being overlooked at a few shows. Uh, this is great. <laughs> I can live out here, man. This is very nice. <laughs> Once you get a taste of it. Many says I call me effectively. Especially after getting your butt whipped, your ass kicked by Charles and you get a chance to just sit back and realize, okay, that was, that was tough. And I get to relax the rest of the day. You know, besides you know, the sacrifice that you're making, you know, being away from your family and you know, close friends, you know, your loved ones are the one that you know feel it the most because you're out here focusing on you. Know, that's the reason why sometimes bodybuilding is such a selfish sport because you know you have to take the focus away from everything else that's around you. And then it's just all about me, 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 me. You know, because you gotta be ready, you know, for your show. You gotta put everything in it. And if you had surrounded yourself with people that understand the sacrifice that you know, you're making, you know, it's not just harder than them. You know, it's even harder than you because you're missing out on a lot of stuff. You know, you know but. One thing that I learned, you know, 
end of the day, you know, as long as you have the right people in your corner, the right people that surround you, they will understand the sacrifice that you're making and why you're making the sacrifice. An island by yourself. Uh, yeah. Do you guys like hot sauce? You smell that? It's beef, right? Did you say that before? It's beef. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't eat meat. <laughs> yeah, that's not meat. That's chicken. <laughs> See that, folks? That's my post workout meal every day. Two cups of rice and uh, about 10 ounces of beef. And I eat to grow. That's the secret. That's awesome. I gotta put my uh, secret ingredients in. I sprinkle with a little bit of. I'm getting big. <laughs> Actually, folks, what I just sprinkled on it is uh, the secret ingredients to Ronnie Coleman getting big. I got that shit personally to me. You guys don't know what it is, but that's how Big Ron became Big Ron. You break that out of the closet, and this little box, the black box that he had hidden in his basement, ship it all the way from Texas. So I can have it here every day after I train. Approved by Chris Ocito. TM. Trademark. <laughs> Jim, about to tear some shit up. And this is straight out of Ron Coleman's vein. <laughs> Welcome to sunny Venice, California. Super concoction, folks. It's good shit right here. That is running right by itself. Early. <laughs> ah, it's gonna be a good day, folks. At Venice, um, with the famous Mr. Charles Glass. I'm currently weighing at 300 pounds. Uh, my biggest off season yet. I should be at the Olympia about 315, soaking wet. Fighting Jay, Phil, and Kai, and Dexter. You see everything when you're hearing goals. Look at that outfit over there. See everything and everyone. So today is going to be a great day. What's on the agenda for today? We're doing what? Today we're doing shoulders. We'll do a combination of Kevin Leveroni and um, Flex Wheeler combined with uh, Ronnie Coleman. I'm going to finish that side. Yeah.
happy with the progress that I'm making. And I sent some pictures to Chris yesterday. And I practice what he sees as off season, so no fuss, no must. Just gotta keep doing what I'm doing. September is right around the corner. Gotta stay in the grind and uh, keep focus. Make it happen. That's all we doing. Making it work. She's anything like any of us. I don't doubt it. Yeah, exactly. That's great. She's bouncing back just fine. How are you doing? Okay. okay.
Here? Front rail. Down there. Jim, that thing's throwing up 70 and 80 pound front race. Try this.
<laughs> Here to your folks, uh, first folks. Mr. Glass is coming out of retirement for the Masters of Olympia. Uh-huh, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Never happened. <laughs> Tomorrow at four. Sounds good. All right. Do some calves. Fucking traps. I never do traps. Do I never all that. This is maybe the third time in my life I did that with you for uh, Battle of the Olympia. <laughs> I did um, last week. <laughs> This week, so maybe four or five times in my life I've ever done shorts. I'm gonna do some calf raise. How often do you do calves? Twice a week. <laughs> Recently. Of stuff I've never really paid uh, any attention to. I'm trying to be more attentive to. It. It's not the stuff that you work on. People start to notice now. It's the stuff that you don't work on. Just <laughs> getting ready for the Australian Pro. It's the on win. One of many this year.
this is day number four. We are back at Vendor School Gym, the Mecca. Just finished a great shoulder workout with uh, none other than Mr. Charles Glass himself. Uh, finish up with some treadmill. And I'm gonna hit up that spot, the firehouse, where they have the best food. I have me my Bob Bull. I haven't changed that to the Sean Bull. Day five of five. <laughs> we are here once again at Bennett's Coles Gym. And sitting outside of Bennett's Coles Gym. Uh, I think this is part one of two from the day. Uh, we'll be doing some parts. Beautiful sunny day in California. This is a beautiful morning. Hey, wait, we should get you behind this guy so we can see what a real bodybuilder looks like. That's right. He has a better sweep than you. <laughs> One day, man, this is my goal. What's up, my peeps? That's this a little, little bit too much dream cam. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, Sean Fletcher from Roden. This is day five of the front Venice Girls. As you guys can see, I'm completely ripped to the bone. I'm getting ready for Arnold in 15 days, and I'm completely in shape. Beast mode right there. <laughs> We are ready for some real deal workout. Arm workout. <laughs> Not a Chris Camille. Real deal. <laughs> All right. See if we can get like get a few warm up warm up sets, get a little stronger, a little bit more effort. But I want to see uh, what I want to would like to see myself is those third and fourth exercises. Effort we got to be at like 80 percent, 95 percent maximum, close to maximum effort. That forearm to the bottom.
hard now. I started lifting, I started competing. And the guys were like Flex Wheeler, Chris, Sean, <laughs> Kevin was was out there doing it. So yeah. to be able to have a real deal training me right now. <laughs> you know, having dinner with Flex the other night. Yeah. Talking to Kevin and uh, Sean. <laughs> and that shit is like a dream come true. You can't write a bit of script. How many guys can say, oh, shit, guys, you look up to? <laughs> You're not hitting it in the gym. <laughs> yeah. so I feel like they're about to pop. I feel like, they, feel like they're coming through my shirt. That's that right there, man. What do you got? Shoulder to the elbow, keep it in a straight line, okay? Top of the, the dumbbell at your at feet.
arms feel like they're a little bit apart. <laughs> you can't see through the shirt. <laughs> I'm not going. Here we go, one more time. Here, this fucking thing. Is. Shit hurts. <laughs> now, this is a good workout, you know. It's not every day. I could, uh, I don't even feel like I grew three inches since uh, I started today. It's not every day you could uh, get to say you got trained by one of the legends of the sport, the real deal, Mr. Chris Kamir. Kamir. Guys like him, Flex Villa, Kevin O'Roney, uh, Sean Ray, Ron Coleman. And it kind of set the path for uh, guys like me to be able to 
be doing what I'm doing right now. So I'm very thankful to be in the position that I'm at. Uh, I'm very thankful to be out here. I'm going to be here. And again, uh, Chris and, uh, and Mr. Charles Glass. I'm looking forward to coming back later on in the year and, uh, and uh, continue this journey. Uh, Olympia's are right around the corner in my mind. And I just got to keep focusing and continue to do what I'm doing. I'm going to hit some cardio. Mr. Han Wynn. This is uh, some of y'all need to watch for, man. Han Wynn, remember the name. I said it here first. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to catch up with this guy. When he breaks up, y'all remember, I said it. <laughs> It's the end of the road, right? I'm smiling, I'm happy. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Sean Fletcher from Roden. This is our final workout here at the Mecca of Bodybuilding, Venice, Gold's Jam in California. Uh, today, um, I'm gonna finish off with some uh, hamstring. As you guys uh, know, day one we did um, some quads, so this is the end to uh, Great week and a great workout. It's been a pleasure with Matt Video from the group. What the? I was so damn busy this morning, this afternoon. I left the house in my goddamn house slippers. I pull up to the gym, pull up to the gym, and I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. I left my damn house slippers on and forgot my sneakers at home. I have a brand new client I gotta train next. Never met the guy and I got my damn house slippers. Can you imagine that look? It's gonna be like, what? I don't know. Is it better without the socks? I don't know. What looks better? Without the socks? Alright. I'll take them off. Without the socks. I'm so busy making your damn food, you know? You eat so much. Now he's gonna blame it on meals. He's gonna blame it on my meals. Or you can dress like that. Well, anyway. It's been a great experience being out here. You, know, you get to see all kinds of characters. Uh, like Brad Rowe from ProFit Food. Uh, this beautiful young lady over here. Uh, uh, Miss Chris Morrell, IBB Pro. Yeah, this is right here. She's, she's taking pictures, making fun of me. Sending them to my girlfriend. Put that in uh, um, Twitter idiot. and in Facebook. Yes. Yeah, I already get some videos. It's all right. I'll be the first yeah, to put myself in the house. It's been awesome being out here and uh, having a video. Bruce, uh, he knows when to take up a shirt. <coughs> um, anyway, we're gonna be doing some hamstring, and uh, Bruce, your uh, team flexor trying shirt, tank top, and a hat will be in the mail. Let's get crackalacking.
do some uh, one leg. Uh, I can't even think straight. Chris just messed my head up. <laughs> everything all hidden and shit. <laughs> you know, you know every fan is gonna be going, I watched the entire DVD, I didn't get to see any muscle, no flexing, no posing, no tank tops. I'll have to save that for the next one.
just said my legs was tiny. Who said that? This guy on uh, Facebook. I've said enough, so I'm just going to say it's been a great week and um, just a small taste of what my off-season workout is. Uh, it's a little bit different from what I'm used to, but it's all valuable information to me as well as to you guys. Uh, I believe my ego at the door, thank God I didn't have one. It's been a very humbling experience you know, being out here training. It's not so much as, hey, I'm in the gym, I'm squatting 500 pounds and then lifting 1,000 pounds and you know, benching 405 or reps. You know, it's just something different. You know, training with Charles, everything is about anger and focusing on the muscle group that we're working on. So, and I had a blast this whole week. And, you know, I was glad to have you know, everything taped <laughs> so I could go back to as well and, you know, looked over what I'm doing and what I've been doing. And as well as for you guys to get a taste of what, you know, as an IBB pro, what we go through on a daily basis with uh, training and so forth. Uh, hopefully you guys find this information very valuable. I know I've been asked a thousand and one times. Hey, when is your DVD coming out? This is it. We haven't got a name for it yet, but this is it. <laughs> uh, it's been great. It's been fun. You guys don't have to leave, but you can't stay here. Peace.